Hello everyone, I hope and pray that you are well. We're continuing our look at Bible stories, that is stories about Bibles. And just to recap, we looked at the Usk Chapel Bible uh, first, and we also looked at our own church's pulpit Bible. We looked at uh, my Dutch Bidgeville, although I didn't get to show off to you the, the cool ancient clasps that it has as well. Then we looked at wedding Bibles. Uh, this is our wedding Bible, and uh, we talked a little bit, bit about wedding Bibles last week. Uh, Clarence, in one of our videos from Sunday, actually referenced this uh, Arabic language Bible from, uh, that was a gift from the Nenebs, which uh, was an Iraqi family, a refugee family that we sponsored a few years back. Uh, but today, I want to talk about two other Bibles. Uh, one is my Hebrew language Bible, and the other is my Greek Bible, Hebrew Old Testament and Greek uh, New Testament Bibles. And uh, as I kind of pulled those off the, the shelf earlier today, I kind of got flashbacks of studying Hebrew and Greek. It wasn't traumatic or anything, but it reminded me of uh, the many flashcards that I studied you know, sitting on the bus, uh, taking the beeline into Vancouver to go to Regent College. And, and some of the flashcards that I had were kind of, you know, easy and straightforward, right? The word anthropos uh, means human, and so I, you know, I just think of the word anthropology, and it would make, make sense. Um, but, you know, some words just kind of got stuck in my mind by force of repetition. So when I see the word nephish, um, and uh, I see that flashcard immediately in my mind, and I think life, self, soul. And I almost say it like it's all one word, nephish, life, self, soul, right? And, and somehow that just, that's how my mind works. Uh, but some were even uh, much more obscure. So uh, the word uh, therian in Greek uh, is Greek for, for beast. And when I was studying these flashcards some 20 years ago or so, uh, Chris Therian was a hockey player at the time, and he was six foot five uh, and 240 pounds or so. He was a beast of a player, so it was easy for me. You know, Therian equals, that means beast, right? Um, when I studied these original languages, right, when I studied Hebrew and Greek uh, in seminary, uh, um, that was, uh, you know, a pretty big deal, uh, pretty important. A lot of seminaries still uh, have their students study Greek and Hebrew, but I don't crack open these Bibles that much these days because um, I have Bible software on my computer, and I just take my mouse and I hover over a word, and it translates it for me. Uh, not only that, it tells me how the word is functioning in the sentence, and then it tells me if it's a verb, for example, that it's first person plural. And, and then I can also have it, it will list all the other occurrences in the New Testament or the Old Testament of that very word and how it's translated there, right? So there's this tons and tons of information. So maybe the question is, was studying uh, the biblical, the original biblical languages, you know, just kind of a trivial exercise? Um, I, don't, I don't think so. Uh, but why are, you know, why are these Bibles uh, important? And, and why are the original languages important? I think they're important because by studying them, uh, we understand what is meant by those words, uh, what was meant when they were written, so that we can understand better today what is meant uh, by God's Spirit through these words for us today. Still, I mean, we did have a Reformation, and the Reformers, you know, really opposed having the Bible just in Latin, just to be read by the clergy, right? So they, they um, insisted that Bibles be uh, translated into the everyday, day, the everyday ordinary language of the people, uh, the vernacular. So certainly studying Hebrew and Greek helps understand the Bible, but, but it's not necessary for being able to, to meet God through the Bible, right? And, and, and I guess the more I read the Bible, uh, the more I appreciate Augustine, right? Who says the, the Holy Scriptures are our letters from home. And I think the kind of the whole point of, of this series of, of looking at Bibles uh, is to encourage you to, to 
to crack open your Bible, to, to renew your relationship uh, daily uh, with the God who wants a conversation with you through his word, who wants to meet you here. Um, and if I only encourage one person today, I'll be satisfied, right? I hope that you kind of follow uh, the advice of, uh, of Lisa uh, Terkersel. And uh, when she says that when the world beats you down, open up your Bible. And I want to close uh, with uh, some words from Psalm 119, verse 105. And I'll try to read them from my Hebrew Bible. Psalm 119, verse 105. Ner l'rag li devarecha v'over linti vati. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The peace of Christ be with you.